<laughs> I'm going back to football. You know, oh, right, good, a football pick. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Pick 6 with John and Nick. This is week 5. I am Nick. I am John. John, we had an epic week last week. Epic. 4, 1 and 1, 4 and 2. Thoughts. We are hitting our stride. I feel like we, you know, we know where we're at. We see what's good, what's bad. We're making them right for you guys. We want you to win so we can win too cuz right. when you win, we feel like we win too. When I win, you win, we win. win. <laughs> That's we're, we, I feel like we're like the baby deer. Week one, we're like a baby deer on ice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And now we're starting to get our legs under us a little bit. So we're like a, almost like a, like a gazelle at this point, just uh. steamrolling its way through avoiding predators. I'll be prancing. And everybody will <laughs> love it. It'll be great. <laughs> great. Well, we got some good picks for you this week, guys. Yeah. Uh, we, D- John will go first this week. I'll do it. It's his turn to go first. So, John, why don't you start us off? As the college football Nostradamus, I'm going to stick with my college football picks. I got three and three again this week, folks. So let's start with Cincinnati. They're playing Tulane. Um, a couple things about Cincinnati. Um, they are 5-0. and oh. They're 4-1 and one against the spread. And they just played my nephew's soccer team. So shout out to Cameron and the IUPUI Jaguars. What up, Cameron? Yeah. Um, and they won. You know, it was a good game. But so I feel like Cincinnati's on a roll. Um, they're minus seven and a half against Tulane. I'm taking Cincinnati minus seven and a half. Count, Count it. it. Ooh, big one. Start off hot. I am going for my first pick. I'm going three college, three NFL. We are going to yeah. Dallas for the Red River Rivalry. Woo, we got Where's Texas OU. Hat? So Texas has looked good this year. Fun thing about Texas, they're 5-0 and against the spread. Their last five against OU. It's a rivalry game. I think OU's a little better. They actually have a shot at the playoff, mm. but they haven't played anybody. They looked a little bad last week. Could be They could have been sleeping on that game, getting yeah. ready for this one. Pretty common in college. Maybe uh, Kyler Murray's girlfriend broke up with them oh. uh, before the game. Who knows? Who knows why they started we'll out see. slow? I we'll think see. it'll be a good game. OU hasn't played a ranked team. Texas is pretty good this year. I think they, uh, Tom Herman's good in the underdog role. So for that reason, eat some brisket, watch this game, take Texas, plus eight. Count, Count it. it. All right, I'm going to stick with some college football. Uh, we got another rivalry coming up for you. we got the LSU and Florida. These teams hate each other. There are different states, obviously, Louisiana, Florida, right? Um, guys, I'm right. Yep. I'm right. Yeah, I'm good. Both part of the Louisiana Purchase. Yes, yes. The, and then they split apart. But they like to go. They like to throw it far. They like to throw it long. They had a lot of touchdowns in this game. I'm taking the over at 43 and a half. Louisiana State University and Florida Gators. Over 43 and a half. Count, Count it. it. Ooh, I like it. Go Tigers. We are staying in Florida. Yes. <laughs> so we have we that state. LSU Florida again. I'm sticking with the same thing. Uh, I like a lot of your reasoning for the over because it's going against the grain a little bit. People tend to think it's going to be a low-score game, but I can see, like, block punts and that sort. Uh, fun thing, UF uh, ranked right now. I think they're in the 20, top 20, okay. somewhere right around there. They're 2-5 and five in their last seven conference games. Ooh. They lost to Kentucky. I'm not buying Florida. I, I think they're garbage still. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. I don't think they have a quarterback. I know they beat Mississippi State. Hey, good for you, but I just don't think they have it. You can't bet against Coach O, so I'm taking no. LSU in the swamp, which hasn't been hostile since Tebow left. LSU minus two and a half at Florida. Go Tigers. Count, Count it. it. All right, I'm going to go to the NFL real quick. We're going to go to Denver. Is heading off. We're going east to play the New York Football Jets. Wait, that's the Football Giants. Is there a Football Jets team? Can you say that? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Football Jets. <laughs> uh, they're not very good. They had all, what, six months to prepare for their first game in which they won. Sam Darnold was looking hot. Oh, is this the new rookie if they have quarterback for the Jets? No. So I'm taking Denver. They look good against Kansas City for three quarters. Let's see if they can stay and play the fourth quarter. Uh, and they're getting points in New York. So I'm taking Denver plus one in New York against the New York Jets. Counting. Counting. Coming off of Monday Night Football loss. Mm-hmm. That game was great. By the way. Great game. All right. I wasn't going to take this game, but I am. Because I know. So this Ooh. is the uh, rivalry game of the week. We have my Florida State Seminoles versus the hated Miami Hurricanes. Ooh. Miami Hurricanes <laughs> are a 13 and a half point favorite at the time of this recording, which is Wednesday. Florida State is not good. They are not good. But they haven't lost to Miami in the last six visits which is somewhere around over 10 years by my Florida State education math. Um, I don't think Florida, I still don't think Florida State's that good. They do have a couple of linemen coming back. I think they can keep it close. They should have won this game last year. Um, 
Give me Florida State plus 13 and a half, if not only because it's a rivalry game, and I think they'll try their hardest to keep it close. This is their Super Bowl. Anyways, Florida State plus 13 and a half <laughs> versus Miami. Count it. <laughs> go Nose. Go know. Nose. Yeah, here we go. Plug. I was to stay in the NFL for me. I'm going to take the uh, Dallas and Houston game. Now, I got the over on the Dallas game last week. The game is only at 45, so I'm taking the over Dallas and Houston. Count it. Wow. All hat, no cattle. That's what I think about the Cowboys so far mm-hmm, this season. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm moving to the NFL ranks as well. I am going with the Los Angeles Rams, who at this point in the season look unstoppable. Fun yeah, thing about do. the Rams, you probably know this if you're watching at home, Rams are 3-0-1 three and three, oh and one against the spread this season. They're 6-2 and two against the spread the last eight road games. They're playing at Seattle, who, as we know, just lost one certain finger-flipping Earl Thomas. Cue the photo. Read between the lines. <laughs> So that, that vaunted Seattle defense Legion of Boom is pretty much obliterated. I know they have Chris Carson coming back, but they look pretty bad this year. I'm going to keep going with the Rams. Ride the hot hand. I don't think the Vegas has this line right yet. Plus, they have an extra couple days of rest playing mm-hmm. on Thursday night. Give me the Rams because they're fun to watch. Also, Seattle 2-5 and five against the spread their last seven games at home. So I think they're a little bit overvalued as a home team. For that reason, give me the LA Rams minus 7 at Seattle. Count it. Actually, I'm going to go back to college football. Here we go. Uh, and we're going to go to my favorite, Herm Edwards. Herm. And you know, he's um, getting favored this time, not by 18. Uh, they're heading into Colorado. I think they're going to win that game outright. And so I'm going to go ahead and take Arizona State Sun Devils against the Colorado Buffaloes, plus two. Count it. All right, we are going to the Big Easy for this next one. The Saints have been fun to pick this year because they really score have. a lot of points. They're so fun to watch with Alvin Kamara. <laughs> exactly. I feel like I pick them every week. But you know who's coming off a bye? A little team with the racist name called the Redskins. Ooh. The Washington Redskins. We won't be able to say that on the show next year probably. So get it out of your system now Redskins. while you can. The Redskins have been pretty Redskins. good with Alex Smith. <laughs> the <laughs> Washington Redskins have been pretty good with Alex Smith at quarterback. I didn't think he'd be as effective as he is, but that little dink and dung offense is working for them. Mm-hmm. Saints have been scoring a lot of points. I feel like just coming off a bye is mostly why I like the Redskins. Uh, also, the Saints have hit five of the last seven overs. I'm not taking the over in this game, but the Monday night game, always fun to pull for points. There's a bonus for you. Yeah. Mostly, I like the six and a half points. I think that's a lot. I don't care that Mark Ingram's coming back. Give me the Redskins. Plus six and a half in New Orleans. <laughs> Count. Count it. All right, my last pick. I'm going back to Cincinnati. Woo! So I went to college there, or almost went to college there. Um, you knew a guy who went to Yeah, yeah. There's some people <laughs> that went to college in Cincinnati. <laughs> they are playing the Miami Dolphins. Now, I just saw on the bottom line of a certain TV show that Miami Dolphins lost another offensive lineman. That's all I know. So, to me, that's not good. Uh, so I feel like that means they're not going to score any more points. And Cincinnati looks great. Andy Dalton, Mixon's coming back. Giovanni Bernard. Ugh, Tyler he, Boyd looks good. All these humans that are on this team are really coming together. Uh, the line is only six and a half, um, minus six and a half for Cincinnati. I think it, if it goes to even a touchdown, you should take it. So if it goes to minus seven, I think Cincinnati will still cover that. So I'm taking Cincinnati minus six and a half against the Miami Dolphins. Count it. Who day? My <laughs> last pick here, uh, a wise man once said, good teams win, great teams cover. Philadelphia Eagles, returning Super Bowl champions, are playing at home to the Minnesota Vikings, who got their asses handed to them for the most part, although they pushed yes, they last did. week yes, against the Rams. So <laughs> the, the we know I think the Vikings are pretty good. They've been banged up a little bit. Lost Dalvin Cook hasn't played a lot. Yeah, He's yeah. supposed to be back this week. They're at home is the main reason why I like mm-hmm. the Eagles this game. Both teams are coming off a loss, and the Eagles' loss was gut-wrenching game. So I think they're going to be slightly more pissed off than Minnesota is. I think they're both probably going to be pissed. Uh, also, Vikings are 1-5-1 and one against the spread in their last seven games. Ooh, that's tough. So I think, the, I think the Eagles bounce back in a big way. Their defense is getting better, although the pass defense hasn't been as good as it can be. Carson Wentz going to keep getting better and better. Alshon Jeffrey looked really good, too. Looks welcome back, good, yeah, Alshon welcome, Jeffrey. Welcome back. So I like Philly in front of the home crowd to uh, take advantage, to, to avenge their loss from last week in a big way. Philly minus three versus the Minnesota Vikings. Count it. That's our picks for this week. John, how do you feel this week? Oh, man, I'm feeling strong. We are some yeah, kind man. of red hot. Man. Yeah. We are. So if you're not following us, you should at 
handlebar underscore TV on YouTube. Yep. So make sure to check out our picks, lay some money down. If you want free money, you could have probably paid for your kid's college by now if you yeah. would have just been taking all John's picks. Right. It's five and one, hot. five and one. Oh, Nostradamus of college football. Yeah. We the, affectionately refer to as college Nostradamus here on the show. Mm, yes. uh, I feel pretty good about this week. I think John does as well. Yeah. Um, that's all we have for you this week, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe to Handlebar TV on YouTube where you're watching this right now. Let us know who you got. I'm Nick. I'm John. See you next week. Peace.